Hey guys, welcome to the Lobster's Lair. Um, I have a bit of a... I, I, I don't like this because... Uh, small units, I'm sorry guys, I said it, there you go. But um, we, we do battle with, I think, medium funds, so not too bad. Oh, my dogs. Anyway, um, yeah, so we do have a medium funded size, but as you can see... There's, oh, there's so little units, there, there's so little people, oh, there's like, oh, it, it's just like a class of kindergartners running around on the field, it's not any fun, but, here we go, um, I might as well tell you, two Boeshigaru, one of them is a little bit veteran, rank three, uh, two Naganata Warrior Monks, two Naganata Samurai, one Nodachi Samurai, they're variously ranked in veteran level, obviously, two Great Guard, both of them rank three, and my immediate uh, plan is move them up this tree line and uh, take the building with my infantry. And while he's worried about me taking the building, I'm going to rush in a nice ambush and get a little curveball strike in there. Um, my general actually does have the bow ability now. So uh, you'll see the little red bow on their backs, kind of. You can see it there. But uh, I will obviously use that to my advantage. And my opponent does a great job uh, at... Um, combating me uh, or here it's really weird he just kind of leaves his general in the forest for a little bit just kind of just sit there but he does later join the battle and we will fast forward since this is a pretty long match so I line up my archers and as you can see they're just about in range and I'm like screw it move them up and the uh, skirmish fight will begin now even though he has bow samurai three bow samurai one Ashigaru um, and I think four Yari, yeah, two Yari Samurai, two Yari Ashigaru, and he's got some Katana Samurai and one Nodachi Samurai, and I think a Yari Cavalry in the forest, so that's his army. Um, I'm just going to pepper into his Bow Samurai units and um, his one Ashigaru unit, and even though I just have Bow Ashigaru with my general here, these guys are going to kind of worry a little bit, and they're going to come to the verge of running. So what my theory is now is that since he's not sneaking up and I'm kind of getting close to capturing um, the uh, little workshop over here by now, is I'm just going to run out my uh, great guard and hope I can get a nice quick uh, sweep attack in. And they just barely escape my grasps as his Yari Samurai and Ashigaru are there to meet me right away. So I obviously pull them out and my new plan is hide out in this forest and then creep around and you know be a little stalker creeper guy. As you can see, I'm moving up my forces. I've had my uh, Bow Ashigaru moves up along with all my infantry, and I'm going to keep peppering into them, but this time I'm going to aim into uh, their uh, whole Yari unit here. We'll see the arrows raining down. There we go. Saw a little bit of them. One of them, I think, is still occupied with that bow unit. Or maybe all of them? I don't know. Back. Weird. Okay, so apparently, well, I, I do aim for them eventually. You'll see. Shush. We're all human. We make mistakes. Okay, um, so I am somewhat winning the bow fight. I mean, all my guys have green morale. As you can see, he moved up his general now. Probably just forgot him, something like that. Anyway, um, I've captured the uh, siege little workshop place here. And uh, as you can see, I'm creeping around my guys. And uh, I'm going to, there's where my units are going to be. And I plan to basically just bum rush all his Yari units, and it should be a cinch until I see a this Yari cavalry unit. And I'm like, oh, easy, great guard will just smash him up. But then there's this Nodachi samurai unit, and I just see them, and I'm like, you know what? They're only katana uh, samurai. Why not just like smash into them? Not katana samurai, Nodachi samurai, katana samurai. You, you, they all have katanas. You get what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, so I just smack into them, and then I notice uh, they got some more guys chilling out in the forest, specifically those two two katana, uh, yeah, two katana samurai units. And uh, he's rushing in his Yari cavalry, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to need some backup here for my great guard. So I move my Naganata warrior monks and Nodachi samurai over here to make a wall and uh, kind of get ready to counter that. All the while, as you can see, I've uh, <coughs> got my Boeshigaru uh, peppering into their line. And I'm going to begin to move up uh, my front. However, I am fairly busy over here, kind of worried with uh, being, you know, attacked from all different kind of angles. That's why my, my men, you'll see them stop for a little bit. Um, but over here, I uh, they just launched a Yari Cavalry attack. Mostly they got two units of Yari Cavalry. Uh, and uh, they, they got a good hit on my Nodachi Samurai. They took out quite a few. 
but uh, he just barely managed to escape me. He's uh, over there with like eight guys left. And so I'm like, you know what, let's charge in one of my great guard and uh, cause a little chaos among that place. As you can see over here, I've crashed into them. I've used my uh, war cry with my uh, diminished Naganata warrior uh, monk unit. And uh, they're going to help out a lot. As you can see, my Nodachi is also over there. And I'm going to move up my Naganata warrior monks in hopes that they can just do a big swoop and t kill them all. And my great guard are going to make sure they don't get ambushed or, uh, you know, completely destroyed there. So, uh, and as you can see, I used my war cry right there with perfect timing to uh, get a nice little bonus quick win over there. Uh, all the while, they have been uh, peppering into my archers, I believe, or my units. Uh, looks like he's aimed... I don't know. Anyway, point is, uh, I have won the front infantry battle. This battle is pretty much over now. I obviously went over there for my uh, little combination of war cry and great guard smashing. And that is about all there is to it. His general is uh, just trying to kind of run in like a last attempt. But I'm like, hey, sweet general. And I just kind of take him out. Mop up of the units. You guys get the idea. And oh, I'm gonna, well, we're done here. Uh, yes, we are. So I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw here in the lobster's lair. Uh, come back again uh, every every day. I basically have a Shogun 2 matchmaking video up. And the reason there's two today is because I uh, did not fulfill my promise yesterday. And uh, tomorrow th there will be one up. Promises. Promises and kisses and love. Uh, commentary was by me, Baby Doll's Best Friend Forever. That's my username. Go ahead and add me if you want. Bye-bye now.